I think I can do this in one take. Obviously, I'll cut this part out of it, or I won't. All right, so I've already marked out the inner fender that I need to cut out. So I'll go ahead and trace that out, cut that out with the cutoff wheel, and I'll weld it into place. Let's get to it. Because I didn't remove the entire outer quarter, I was unable to also replace the entire inner fender liner. So I marked out yesterday what I needed to cut and today I actually cut it out and sanded it down so that way it would fit in place. And once I figured out how exactly it would fit in place, I sort of measured it along with the new fender just to see how well it would work. The only part where I'm not doing a butt weld on this is on the back where I can actually reach the inner part of the uh, inner fender liner uh, that I cut off of it. Once I got that cut out, I realized I then needed to clean up all of the areas so that way I could weld it into place. And then I put on my weld through primer so that way I've got some sort of protection along with the, uh, uh, each of the settings. I will be doing some seam sealer as well on all these areas just to make sure that moisture stays out. But uh, a lot of clamping, a lot of welding, and while the welds aren't perfect, I probably had the voltage setting a bit too low, which caused some pretty high welds, but I was able to get it all clamped into place where it wouldn't move around, and then I was able to actually weld from the inside of the fender to the car. And you'll see me doing this. Again, please, please don't hate me too much. I am learning how to use this new welder, and these are the inside where you won't actually be able to see these welds. Whenever I had access, I was actually able to weld it from the inside of the fender, which gave a little bit cleaner appearance on the inside. Uh, again, something I'll have to make for sure that I seam seal along the way. I made a little relief cut in the quarter panel so that way I could reach the inside of the fender liner, and I think that really helped. I'll just have to go back and weld it up later, which is fine. Well, the welds aren't pretty, um, but this piece is much stronger than the other piece. There's some ugly welds up in here, but guess what? No one will be able to see them. Except you if you watch this video. Thanks for watching. So uh, I got the inner fender on. Now I still have to figure out how I'm gonna make the outer fender, but uh, this piece is on. It's welded in here. I've left a sort of actual gap right here, so that way I can slide in the new drop panel that goes there as well. Cleaned up both sides here and on the back side. Uh, so that way whenever I um, install the drop piece I can actually spot weld it on right here I tried to spot weld didn't work too many panels and rust to go through so anyway I think that's it for tonight because I gotta go to work tomorrow all right so the last part of the video you saw me go ahead and put this piece on uh, again it's not the most clean uh, welds that have ever been done, but they're definitely much better than uh, most of my welds in the past and the new uh, welders very nice for that. I now have to put this piece on. Uh, in order to do that, I'll go ahead and mark out the different areas that I need to go and clean that up so that way I can spot weld them together. And before I do that though, I need to go ahead and weld in some new panel pieces here uh, because there's clearly some, some holes right here that are um, definitely making this structurally weak and I have to cut this piece off right here. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and get to it. The Harbor Freight panel saw did not work to cut through this panel. It could be the fact that the blade is old and I didn't have another blade on hand. So I went ahead and switched to the four and a half inch angle grinder and was able to cut the pieces out and then went ahead and cleaned up some of the rust I saw along the area and cut out a few more spot welds along the way. Templates from paper serve the purpose here pretty well, getting me close enough to use some of the additional floorboard material that I had left over from the rear driver's side floorboard that you see me laying out there. So once I got that laid out and cut that out with the 4.5 inch angle grinder, by the way I've realized that I need more 
clamps to hold down things on the table. I actually went to Harbor Freight the next day after this and purchased a couple additional. For those of you wondering, I am using an Omni Pro 220 multifunction welder that I got secondhand from Craigslist. It had almost everything and I've really enjoyed using it so far and it's definitely helped my welding. Though I am still learning how to use it and there's a lot of practice going on in these back panels that I know won't be seen very much and so it gives me an opportunity to actually use the welder. I'm also using a hammer and dolly set which is a new thing for me as well. Um, just working how to get panels flat. I actually think I did a fairly good job whenever we moved to the panels later on in the video. I've also been using a wet rag with water on it to quench the heat on these panels that I'm welding. That way I don't have the heat distort the metal as much. You can see me here working to fit in a small L piece at the far back corner here. Uh, just bending it into shape with vice grips and then welding it into place. I actually left a little bit of extra cut out to sort of reinforce the bottom plate a little bit and maybe keep the whole panel a little bit straighter. And then I go to town with a grinder, which by the way I just sped up to about triple to quadruple the time, so that way you don't have to watch me just meticulously grinding out welds. This back panel is definitely one of the most flimsy pieces on the car. You can see the whole entire area just move around as it's tied to it. But I needed to remove the old panel so that way I could weld the new panel in in a much firmer and stronger manner. Alright, so here it is. The first time that I've put a product placement in my video that actually could maybe pay me some money. The link in my description is to my Amazon affiliate link and I will have links to the products that I use that are good prices and that I find useful for my project. Uh, so if you click on the links in my videos, uh, just understand that you could be putting money in my pocket. Uh, thank you. I started playing around with the settings on the welder and determined that a much higher voltage was more useful for these panels uh, than what I was currently using whenever I first started. Uh, with that higher voltage I also needed to bring out a little bit more of the wire speed. Uh, this is on here and I'll tell you this is I wouldn't have done this if uh, if before I, I welded this all up. So this is on spot welder worked really well on this uh, drop panel piece right here. I was worried about the rust that's in here, which is probably gonna have to be cut out at some point in time in the future. Um, I've got this piece right here that I've got to replace um, pieces on, but um, this piece is in now. Um, all right, we're gonna take a little quick tour of the work that's been up to this point in time. I've been playing with the voltage on the welder, trying to get a puddle that is maybe not so raised that's actually going through. Uh, I think I started to get it um, along this, and definitely used uh, took a lot less time to do this. Um, you see, I've got that welded in. And now I'm gonna try to see how I can uh, fix this back piece right there. And once I get that done, I'll move forward probably with the fender itself. Uh, real quick shout out, I apologize that I don't remember your name. I looked through my comments and I couldn't find it, but someone suggested this Blair Premium Spot Weld Cutter Kit, and it has been amazing. Like, I can't, I can't stress that enough. It is truly a fantastic, fantastic product. And I would suggest that if you have to do spot weld cutting, that you use this. It is like fantastic. So uh, just so you can see sort of what it comes with, it comes with uh, two extra cutting discs as well as a, a pilot bit. This is where the actual bit sits in. 
I went ahead and tried to ensure that I kept longevity in it. And so um, here it is on the drill right here. Um, and I also bought some Blair uh, cutting oil that or grease that I've been coating it with as well whenever I cut. I go really slow with it and keep it centered and it's done a fantastic job cutting. In the next section I focus on cleaning up all the areas that I know I'll be welding on when I finally get the fender back on the car. There is a small piece that I am replacing on this back panel. It was cut out of the old rear quarter, which wasn't in terrible shape overall. It was just at the bottom where all the rust was persistent. You see me making the cardboard template there a few seconds ago. Once I cut the piece out, I used a hammer, dolly, and pliers to shape it to the appropriate shape because there was a sort of a half moon exaggeration, of course, um, shape that it was. And after that, I used a combination of files uh, to do the last small amount of material removal so that the part would fit into the car correctly. Welding the part into the car, I think my voltage settings were a bit too low again and I was getting really tall welds. This is one of those things that I attempt to do usually because I'm worried that the small amount of surface rust around the area will cause issues with the welds. Once it's welded in, I start doing the final fit of the rear quarter just to make sure it's fitting closely. I then took the portion of the outer arch um, that I didn't use and cut it out and then added it as the new arch. I think it turned out pretty well, but definitely not perfect. Once I got the arch in place using just four spot welds, I did the last bit of trimming on the old quarter to ensure that it wouldn't require me to make up a large amount of distance. Although, in the next video you'll see that I didn't quite do it very well whenever I did the final trimming and did have to end up making up quite a bit of distance with my welds. You know, you, uh, you try to do something right and sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it to. But uh, we got there in the end and you'll be able to watch that in the next video after this one.
Okie dokie. So this I think is actually going okay. Um, this piece and this piece don't exactly match up, but I think by the time I button it all down, clamp it, and then weld it into place, I think it'll be much closer. The back part right here, this upper portion right here is a little bit wider than the original. Uh, right up there. Probably a little dent in it now. Um, is a little bit wider than the original right here, but I think it'll be okay. The uh, I went at this with a wire wheel, uh, a little bit um, clinked it out, but I think that that'll bend back just fine. I've got to cut some more of this anyway, so I can made it to the arch. But you know, I'm I'm actually much happier with this arch than I thought I was going to be. I thought it was going to turn out much much worse, but it actually turned out pretty good. Probably go through and add more spot welds once I get the rest of it in, just so I can check it into place. I've only got like four holding it in. But, whew, this is a very productive day. Um, I haven't had a day like this on the car in a very, very long time. I'm very happy to be doing it. Um, just a good day. Anyway, um, I might tack weld that on or spot weld that on. Um, and then call it a night. I doubt I'll do all of this tonight. I just don't have the energy, I don't think, to do it. But uh, thanks for watching up to this point. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the subscribe button. That subscribe button lets me know that I'm doing good work. Like, Also, don't forget to set up your notifications so that way it'll notify you whenever I post a new video. Over here, you're going to see my newest video. And then, finally, um, over here is what YouTube suggests should be the next video in this series. I've got all my videos set up in different playlists, so you should be able to see and track and follow whichever projects you feel like. Thank you for watching. Get out there and work on your car, and God bless.